Wow, four more years. Four more years of going forward with doubling the deficit again. Four more years of going forward with raising the national debt at least another six trillion dollars. Four more years of going forward with decreasing job numbers and an increasing unemployment rate. Four more years of going forward with rising gas and grocery prices. Four more years of going forward with putting even more people on food stamps instead of putting them back to work. Four more years of going forward with spending one trillion dollars each year in welfare. You know, I don't know which is worse, re-electing Barack Obama to keep us going forward on this lousy track, or the insane amount of people in this country that actually want to keep going forward this way. Four more years to ensure that we are all paying the uncertain and very expensive new health care law. This, of course, means four more years of going forward to make sure we are all paying for Sandra Flux and others, free, safe sex, and possibly even abortions. Four more years of going forward to ensure the cover-up and closing the case in Benghazi where four Americans were murdered. We will go forward with unanswered questions like why the Obama administration pulled security out of that area when our ambassador had actually pleaded for more, why the Obama administration didn't pull him out when the British and Red Cross pulled out and the embassy had been attacked before, why the Obama administration didn't want our soldiers to come to his rescue as they received of the reports of the attack as it happened in real time. Why the Obama administration lied about it when it was all over and our ambassador and soldiers were all dead. And as this whole Benghazi situation gets brushed under the rug, you can be sure that after Barack Obama gives his victory speech, he will keep going forward, living it up with the Hollywood and MTV crowd, and being awesome graces with his media worshippers than ever before. They will continue to make him out to be something that he is not. I mean, you know he is Hollywood's president. Oh, and of course, four more years of going forward, blaming George W. Bush, and I can guarantee you, by the way, the Obama administration will do this right up until the very end of 2016. I have high hopes for Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan. I really think we've lost a wonderful chance to get America back together. Romney was able to work with all party affiliates as governor in his very liberal state of Massachusetts. That's why Republicans chose him, and I think he would have done the same as president. But sometimes that's just the way it goes, I guess. I would like to be optimistic about the next four years, but sometimes people need to learn things the hard way, and sadly, some people never learn at all.